Welcome back. I know you would return eventually. Please look down at your feet. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whenever you succeed or failed, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. Hey, what's up everybody? It is I am the one and only Maxi here once again and I'm back for yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Super Mario 3D All-Stars while we're playing through Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Switch. So I believe last time we have basically managed to do quite a lot of missions from the past few uh, days ago, specifically since all new forms have been uh, Friday the 23rd of September. So as a result of that kind of stuff though, we did somehow manage to beat Bowser again, and also we did manage to able to tackle through probably it's the hardest mission in the game, which is of course the Daredevil mission in the likes of Melty Martin Galaxy. So because of this though, yeah, everything else goes all fine and dandy and everything, despite I did manage to able to fail quite a few times, but either way though, it knows what it is for the most part. So today, for this video, is the fact that we're about to be returning back into the game again. But this time around though, as you can tell, we're about to be able to revisiting the past few galaxies from the terrace and some other galaxies to explore. But that's only mainly because, well, much like the forms of how it does in the original version of the game, after when you beat in Bowser from the likes of the forms of uh, Bowser's Galaxy Reactor for the first time, basically you were able to actually realize that uh, if you managed to able to return back into the game itself, to be more specifically, it doesn't matter which version you're playing, either on the Wii, Wii U, or it's no longer going to be uh, the thing anymore for the Wii U digital uh, downloadable version of the game. But as a result of that kind of stuff though, uh, usually between the Wii version, the Wii U version, or the Switch version, that uh, basically though, as you can tell, we're now going to be collecting these purple coins, which are... Basically the equivalent to getting the 100 coin Power Star from Super Mario 64 as well as 100 coin Shine Sprite from Super Mario Sunshine. But the biggest difference is this time it's now in the separate missions as opposed to in uh, whatever mission you want to go to. Even though it's hard to explain because it has been about, like I said before, since about three days ago since we've actually last touched this. Especially because I believe, fundamentally speaking, recently Pac-Man, he recently finished up with, uh, well... Donkey Kong Land 3. So as a result of that kind of stuff though, yeah, we are done with the rest of the whole entire Donkey Kong Land trilogy. Before we now move on to the forms of another bunch of Donkey Kong Let's Plays we can do for the future. To be more specifically, Donkey Kong 64, or uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and the list goes on. So even then though, that I would like to able to actually just to point things out, that uh, as far as what Pac-Man has already mentioned about this, is that, well, generally speaking, when it comes to the forms of the next Donkey Kong Let's Play we're about to be doing for our channel, of course, you know exactly what he already mentions about. Up next, it will be Donkey Kong 64. In this case, one of the longest Donkey Kong Let's Plays we can possibly do. Although originally we were expecting to do Donkey Kong Country Returns, but I think we should probably save that until at some point next year, specifically in 2023 pretty much, so... Anyway, so let's go into Space Junk Galaxy as you can see, and uh, just to tackle for the, the last mission in this particular galaxy, which is the Purple Coin Spacewalk. So of course the first ever Purple Coin mission that we've already technically done, that appears to be on Good Egg Galaxy, so as a result, the mission on that particular level is actually called uh, Purple Coin Omelette. So, because of that though, yeah, you pretty much expect how this is going. And every once in a while though, is the fact that in several other missions later on, for the sake of the Purple Coin Comet missions, basically, as you can see, is the fact that on the likes of Space Junk Galaxy, as you can see, that every once in a while we now need to rely on the time limit. So, because of this though, yeah, because of that though, in every single galaxy, Galaxies in Super Mario Galaxy, uh, apart from a couple of exceptions, which are the secret uh, galaxy uh, levels, which, for example, Loop de Loop or uh, 
flip switch, and etc, etc, that those galaxies does not able to contain any other comets, unlike in Super Mario Galaxy 2, that sometimes it does manage to able to retain uh, prankster comets, or there are a few uh, galaxies that does not contain any of them, because otherwise they'd be replaced as in one of those specific challenges, like score-based challenges as an example, like let's just say Honey Hop Galaxy from the likes of Super Mario Galaxy 2, basically though is the fact that that particular galaxy does not contain uh, the prankster comments in there anyway, so because, like I said before, it's been replaced by score-based challenges based off from that particular champ that you might able to have a chat about. So anyway, so that's basically how this is going, so... Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the map here. Of course, next up it will be Honey Hive Galaxy. So, uh, yeah, there are a few, uh, galaxies when it comes to the Purple Coin ch uh, challenges and stuff like that, that it actually requires you to be able to explore a whole lot throughout the majority of the level. So, like, um, there was one emphasis on the forms of Honey Hive Galaxy and, uh, also Beach Ball Galaxy and, uh, Dusty Dome Galaxy, and uh, Freeze Flame Galaxy, and uh, also say applies for uh, Deep Dark Galaxy, Melty Mountain Galaxy, and of course, the longest one of the bunch though, is definitely the Sea Slide, just because you have to go around in a full circle basically, so. Alright, so the Honey Hive's Purple Coins, where... You know, like I said, we got able to collect all 100 of these things while trying to explore around for the majority of this place. So, yeah, that's basically how this usually turns out to be, so... And also, I will try my best if we're able to actually go through the first half of the forms of that particular purple coin challenges, because unlike any forms of how it does it back on the Wii version Let's Play of this, that uh, basically, though, I think we sometimes managed to able to do this within... Um, I would say roughly about three part segments for the sake of the forms of the purple coin challenge missions as far as I'm concerned. So, either way though, for the sake of this entire version of Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars compilation game, I will definitely try my best to able to actually complete the insane amount of those purple coin challenges as much as I can, even though some of them might be pretty short, while some of them can really drag on at points, at, at least to be more specifically in one of those cases, which is of course, you know exactly what I'm about to say, is of course, Sea Slide Galaxy, that is by far the longest one of the bunch, but either way though, it knows what it is when it comes to the forms of the game's length, might be a bit, uh, you know, very lengthy every once in a while, but it knows what it is for the most part, so... But uh, you get the idea. So, anyway, a uh, few things we want to explain for this point today, and that is the fact that uh, today's date is, of course, the uh, the 26th of September today, in this case, in 2022 today. So, looks like that we're almost nearly at the end in terms of September month before we move on to the October month, in this case, the Halloween month. So, as a result of that kind of stuff, though, I am very excited to see how the actual October is going to bring us into. Although, despite that, however, though, um, also, during the forms of today, actually, that uh, My Little Pony Make Your Mark uh, Netflix series just got started. So because of that, though, at least the last time we actually watched the forms of that particular Make Your Mark special, which it happens to be on sometime in May, so I kind of believe it's been about almost roughly about five months ago since we actually last watched the forms of that particular make your mark special so as a result for that kind of stuff though i cannot wait to see how that's gonna bring us into although sure the actual animation is a bit uh you know in a low budget side of things but i don't care about it too much though well at least sometimes it might bother some bronies out there but either way though it knows where it stands so in fact let me know in the comments below for the question of the day well, for those of you who are able to become a brony only, so as a result of that kind of stuff though, what do you guys think about the forms of the entirety of the Netflix series when it comes to My Little Pony Tale Tale? Uh, no, not Tale Tale, because that was the, uh, the YouTube series after all. I'm talking about the forms of Make Your Mark series, so that's what I meant to say, because, well, aside from the fact that I felt a little bit slightly tired, well, don't get me wrong, I'm still fully awakened, so at the very least that's that. But it's just the fact that sometimes if I somehow manage to do a lot of busy stuff lately, and then as a result of that kind of stuff though, it's just that I just felt a little bit slightly exhausted. Well, at least I'm not giving up for this point yet, so either way though, because chances are, 
Yeah, you probably get the idea. So, uh... Because, uh, for what I've uh, watched it, um, for my, uh, first experience of the entirety of the Netflix series, when it comes to, uh, you know, like I said, My Little Pony, Make Your Mark, um, I thought it was alright. I mean, sure, it does have some faults here and there, which I probably not go, uh, spoil things most of the time, because, well, since you're the guys of the bronies out there, then I'm probably not gonna able to spoil everything for you guys, especially because... Well, this is the newest, uh, latest thing at the moment, when it comes to My Little Pony stuff alike. But either way though, again, like I said before, I'm not gonna spoil things too much about it, because, you know, it's a new thing, so... But yeah, um, aside from all that stuff though, honestly guys, that's as pretty much as far as I can talk about. Well, aside from the fact that, well, uh, re relatively speaking, that, uh, I was expecting if I was trying to able to mention something more related to gaming and stuff like that, Although recently I've managed to be able to actually be busy pl uh, playing, uh, not only for the sake of the forms of Mario Strikers Battle League Football, just because of the forms of DLC characters and stuff like that that have now been added, but also as the fact that, well, relatively speaking, I've managed to be able to actually be busy playing through, uh, well, you know what I mean, some other uh, titles, specifically Mario Plus Rapids Kingdom Battle, just in case by the forms of, uh, well, you probably already know why. And um, on top of all that stuff, though, it's just the fact that, well, honestly, guys, there's not much else you can say. Oh, and also, I still fully enjoy watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2 all over again, for the movie anyway, because, you know, I so, solely enjoyed the film so many times. Especially noticeable that also during the films of that time, that I've recently managed to able to play um, Sonic Origins on the Xbox One version at the moment. Although, we will pretty much have to guarantee that we will save the PlayStation 4 version for the sake of the Let's Play of Sonic Origins. Because obviously, much like Sonic Colors Ultimate, that I'm basically about to be able to actually do the actual Let's Play of Sonic Origins at some point for the PlayStation 4 system. Because as a result of that kind of stuff, though, like I said, that uh, we haven't exactly experienced, uh, we haven't done, rather, the actual Sonic the Hedgehog Let's Plays based on from PlayStation consoles. While I know for the fact that, that uh, there are quite a few out there from the likes of the forms of, uh, well, I have no idea what I'm trying to explain about this right now, because, well, relatively speaking, though, because as you can tell, that, uh, trying to able to actually obtain several of those, uh, purple coins might, sometimes might take a bit while to able to complete, because most of the time, that, like I said before, is all about a lot of emphasis on exploration, so, either way, though, you probably get the gist of it, so... And there we go, there's our power star, as soon as we're able to actually jump straight to it, and we basically fully accomplished the Honey Hive Galaxy, so... Nicely done there. Oh, and, uh, and also I apologize with the forms of my comment tag is a little bit still to the point again. But that's only mainly because, unfortunately though, my preview capture card recording just feels a bit lagging again. Which to be expected with most 1080p gameplay footage and stuff like that, so... Yeah, nothing special from here. But at the very least, though, I don't need to worry about the forms of that particular uh, in-game text here and there to read. As long as we can able to actually save that particular Rosalina's uh, library thing until for later time, because, well, it's pretty obvious about the fact that I will seriously get able to actually just to, well, complete everything if I can. So, and it's also very surprising for me, though, is the fact that we have not used the actual pranks to come as Hungry Luma throughout the majority of the entire time, just because... Well, like I mentioned this before, but I'm gonna say this again anyway, that since I've beaten this game so many times already, either on the Wii, Wii U, and recently the Switch version, so... it doesn't bother me too much, though. Alright, purple rock- uh, purple coins on the Battle Rock, so... Yeah, it's gonna be one of those, uh, purple coin challenges that, uh, this is one of those missions that we cannot afford to able to mess it up. Because if you miss one of those purple coins, well, if you talk to Guillermo as soon as you get to the very end of this particular mission, basically, though, you die instantly. So because of that, though, I found it a little bit punishing and unfair, just because of how the fact that, gee, no wonder why, sometimes most people seem to really want to able to wreck 
you know, Guillermo robot at all. It, it feels kind of similar to the forms of how it does it where most people seem to really do not care about the character from the likes of Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Nemesis, which appears to be body forms of Jar Jar Beaks. Which I totally get why that a lot of people really despise that character because it's almost like a cut, you know, a dumb slapstick comedy and stuff like that. It's like a comic relief. But either way, though, it knows what it is for the most part. It's like, I certainly uh, don't find him that enjoyable to me, though, because most of the time I just felt, you know, that particular character feels a little bit weird. But either way, though, it knows what it is when it comes to uh, opinion related for most people. But. Again, it's just a coincidence, I guess, but still, it's just, you know, kind of weird sometimes. What if you're able to get your, you know, different opinions on other things and stuff like that, but still, I can't deny it by that. But there we go, we've completed this particular mission, as you can see, so either way, though, pretty easy when you get the hang of it, though, especially because, well, I know this game so many times, so... Nothing to able to notice in this from the get-go, but hey, at least that's something to behold. And that pretty much concludes the Battle Rock Galaxy, and as a matter of fact, we have basically accomplished both domes so far, for the sake of the forms of, well, uh, the entire game itself so far. So, I believe the next Purple Comet mission is going to take place in Ghost Sleep Galaxy, so we now need to go into the Kitchen Dome now, so, uh... Hopefully, relatively speaking, though, it might not be too, uh, taxing as far as, you know, trying to explore other things and stuff like that, so... But still, it's a kind of a shame about the fact that I kind of wish there was actually a faster travel method to able to go from one place to the other. Although, to be fair, though, and unlike in Galaxy 2, though, where everything else is entirely linear, but either way, though, it doesn't bother me too much when it comes to both Starship Mario in M Galaxy 2, and also with the forms of the Comet Observatory, because it's nice to look at when it comes to uh, Comet Observatory hub worlds and stuff, so... Alright, purple coins in the bone pe pen. I almost had pen for a second there. Some people might find this mission to be one of the hardest missions in the game, and not only the hardest mission, but also the hardest uh, purple coin challenge missions in the entire game. But honestly, that that was back in the forms of been ages ago, whenever I managed to play the Wii version back in the day, that I found this mission a lot more frustration. But every once in a while, the more I'm grown older, then I have no issues with this mission at all. Although, despite the fact that you have to do it with less time, as you can tell, because you only got about a minute, not able to grab every single of those, well, not so much uh, um, every single purple coins, but it still requires you to be able to collect about 100 purple coins in until the actual, uh, you know, the power star needs to be uh, obtainable. So, but you know, you get the idea about that. So there it is, it's right onto the center of this particular area, and utilize the Nepal stars, and there we go. Woo-wee! That certainly was a close call, but hey, at least I still managed to pull this off. No problem. I know some people might find this a bit of a troublesome of this mission, but either way though, when you get the hang of it though, it might not be too bad, so... Anyway, so I think we've only got one more power star left until we... Oh, wait a second. Let's double check on the map. Ah, oh, okay, so there are quite a few of them in, uh... One of them in the bedroom dome, and another one is in the engine room dome, and also the garden dome. So, hopefully we are getting some progression in there, especially because... Well, like I said before, that we are basically almost done with the forms of the Mario's playthrough of this entire game, so... Either way though, let's just go ahead and do Gusty Garden next. So yeah, there are quite a few missions like this that sometimes it can actually, uh... Well, the game still tells you you need to get about 100 purple coins in order to succeed the mission. But, um, either way though, let's get into the forms of purple coins on the puzzle cube. So it looks like we're going back into the exact same planet as whenever we did manage to catch the Star Bunny on the likes of the first mission on this particular place, so... So yeah, if you couldn't tell already because of how the fact that, well, 
as I mentioned this before, that the game still requires you to be able to get like 100 purple coins, but in certain missions, to be more specifically in the uh, the Ghostly Galaxy, as well as one in here, and even especially notable in another one which is actually takes place in Toy Time Galaxy, that we'll get to that as soon or later, that um, I think for those two, uh, well actually three of those galaxies when it comes to those missions like this, that they managed to be able to get ourselves about 150 of those purple coins, which it's entirely optional because you don't need to necessarily try to get them unless if you're trying to be more satisfied if you manage to be able to get every single purple coin. Well, I would like to, but most of the time though is the fact that you always have to keep an eye on with the time limit because most of the time you have less time to work with and also most of the time that certain missions like this are kind of easy when if you're trying to able to, well, again, as I mentioned this before, certain missions with the purple coin challenges can be summed up as like sometimes easy and some other times they are pretty tricky and stuff like that sometimes. But uh, unlike in Galaxy 2 though, where it comes to difficulty is the fact that, well, most of them are a bit tad easy, but most of the time it can be very tough and difficult, especially noticeable in the... Uh, one of them is in the forms of that particular, you know, rolling coaster galaxy and stuff like that. That's how uh, you have to able to get like specifically 100 of those purple coins and you're able to actually take control of the purple coin ball as opposed to the power star ball. So as a result of that kind of stuff though, it's just the fact that it's pretty cool back in the day, I'm not gonna lie. Especially noticeable about the fact that, well, Relatively speaking, I always found it as a bit of a unique twist to the table when it comes to likely compared to uh, the regular normal mission, then the likes of how it does it on the purple coin missions and stuff like that, but who knows what it is, I guess. Alright, so I think it's probably best for me to able to save the actual, uh, the Felton section for last, because otherwise you got more time to able to actually obtain the power star like so. Because man, I always love doing that. Especially in those it's so, so easy to able to do this process. But uh, there we go. Ghostly Garden is now fully completed. At least for now anyway. Um, yeah, let's just save our game here. Just in case if my game doesn't crash or anything else to be more specific. Because if my game crashed, then it'll just take me back to the home menu on the Switch. Because unlike in uh, Wii or Wii U, you have to turn off the actual game console in order to able to reboot it up again if your game is about to crash or something like that. Which, I know for the fact that on the likes of the Wii and the Wii U, that both of those systems do have the actual home button. So that way there's an alternative way you can able to head back onto that particular home menu and stuff. But either way though, because unlike... Uh, the GameCube, PlayStation 2, or even Xbox for that matter. Well, I have no idea why I decided able to compare these three consoles or something like that. But yeah, it knows what it is, I guess. Alright, uh, Beach coming for purple coins. Oh, uh, I think I get the strong sense of feeling that uh, we will able to actually bump into... Ah, oh, you know what I mean, the worst power-up in this entire existence again, so yeah, I'm not too pleased about that, especially noticeable where, although, fundamentally speaking, this will be the last time we're going to be seeing Spring Mario in action, because otherwise though, after this though, then we can basically what to expect of how the fact that the majority of the purple coins might be self-explanatory to able to collect, without needing to rely on the forms of the Spring Mushroom to begin with, I guess, but... Either way, though, I guess as that's as far as I can try to explain about this, I guess, so... Oh yeah, talking of which, though, actually, is the fact that I think, relatively speaking, we've only got about 10 more days to go, until specifically, do you guys even remember the film? Well, most bronies will do. Uh, basically, do you, do you, for those of you the bronies out there, do you remember the film called My Little Pony, the movie? You know, with the, uh, the G4 variation? Well, basically, we've only got about 10 more days to go until that particular movie, to be more specifically for those of you who lived in America, uh, that movie will be eventually become five years old. So when that time comes, well, at least specifically, whenever we get to the second playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy on the Switch version, to be more specifically, then we can probably be able to actually celebrate the movie's release with the five-year celebration anniversary, I guess. So... Yeah, that should be pretty small if I have to say so, especially 
I haven't watched the film for a while just because, for some reason, I'm more into the films of Sonic the Hedgehog movies just because I'm a die-hard Sonic fan, as you probably already know. But uh, don't get me wrong, I won't try to able to revisiting the, uh, the film again. Well, I will say this right now, still, that I certainly think that the My Little Pony the Movie 2017 uh, movie counterpart, it sure is a hell of a lot more better than the films of that crap we had from the likes of the films during in summer, which is of course the Emoji Movie, because the Emoji Movie is just sucks. It can just die in a... Well, I'm probably not going to say it because I'll just get demonetized because, well, I'm almost going to say something a little bit more offensive anyway, but I'm decided to not to, but it knows what it is, I guess. So, I'm not only why saying that line so many times already, because, um, aside from all that stuff, though, honestly, guys, that's as pretty much as far as I can say about it, so. But anyway, though, um, and also, during the forms of, uh, I think we've only got about a month left now, until that uh, Super Mario Odyssey will be eventually become five years old. So, yeah, I can't even believe my favorite Nintendo Switch game is gonna be, um, it's gonna be five years old. So, uh, yeah, time really does fly, doesn't it? Especially because, well, relatively speaking, we are very, very getting close to, uh, towards the very end of, uh, not only September, but also about the fact that we are getting there to October, like I said before, since the very beginning of this particular video. But also about the fact that we are definitely getting quite close towards the end of this, I'm not gonna lie, a pretty mediocre year in my opinion, for 2022's sake. But either way though, but then again, uh, we'll probably discuss more details about that um, until by the very end of 2022, basically, if we decide to able to do you know, the final let's play of the whole entire year. In fact, let me know in the comments down below for the question of the day. Uh, which specific game do you want me to be able to tackle for when it comes to the final let's play I'm about to be doing for 2022? Because I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. So even then though, I just want to classify that. It could be kind of tough actually. There was that particular game I'm very curious to be able to do a let's play of which appears to be released on a Nintendo GameCube that involves around Don dance moves and stuff like that, with the red, you know, Italian plumber and stuff like that, or, to be more specifically, if I was trying to able to decide to do... Uh, this is kind of tough for me, actually, because either way, though, I was expecting that we will try to do uh, the Ape Escape series until specifically next year, if you're following for our channel at this point on the uh, the about information and stuff like that for the future let's plays to come but um, aside from all that stuff though um i guess that's pretty much it really but anyway though let's just go ahead and uh keep on exploring around just to see if there are some uh, purple coins needs to be collected and stuff which so far we're actually doing not too bad, actually. Especially noticeable about the fact that, well, so far we didn't die so many times for the sake of the forms of, uh, well, the purple coin challenges, which is very surprising because, well, again, like I mentioned this before, I play this game so many times already and it never gets old for me, so, excuse me. But then again, though, like I said, it's a bit of a shame that Galaxy 2 misses the mark for the uh, Nintendo Switch release because that would be a very, very great addition to the 3D All-Stars compilation, but apparently though, because of the forms of space storage and stuff like that, which I'll just do the actual, uh, the final thoughts of this though, on the entirety of Super Mario 3D All-Stars compilation as a whole, for the sake of the forms of maybe at some point in during, not in October though, but possibly in November if roughly, well, Depending on time though, and all the other stuff, but either way though, we'll just see what happens during at some point, so... But it's just the fact that I'm just gonna have to able to try to, uh... Well, you know what I mean, just trying to able to focus with the Spring Mario transformation, so... Because, then again, it is not as easy to control this thing sometimes, because... Wow, it's just so uncontrollable sometimes. But yeah, that's as far as I can try to able to describe about the forms of today's discussion. Although, then again, I would like to able to try to mention something related to, like, uh, gaming-related things, but, uh, like, some more infos to come. But, uh, 
I think I should probably save that conversation until specifically later on throughout the month, likely towards the very end of September. And sure enough that Tiana will able to actually just start decide able to mention more details about that too, if she ever goes back on to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. So just in case we can able to catch up on some useful uh, hints or specifically news updates or something like that. But it knows what it is, I guess. But there we go, the Power Star just shows up right onto that particular, well, that particular island that is somehow we ended up into, along with the coach, of course. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That pretty much concludes the, well, the kitchen dome. So, yeah, it feels like we're onto the halfway point already for the likes of the Purple Coin Challenges, basically. So, but like I said before, that's, uh, well, I will try my best to able to actually go for the insane amount of those uh, power stars as I go to, but uh, at least that's something, I guess, so... <clears throat> I'm sorry about that, because I've got something stuck in my throat there, so uh, I do apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, let's just use those uh, teleportating parts so that we can able to actually go into... Uh, specifically, uh, the next galaxy that we can able to go into. Mind you, because again, I do apologize if my commentary gets a little bit iffy because it's just the fact that every time one of I record something, and then as a result, that sometimes it just keeps lacking all the time, which is not as pleasant as it looks, but still, it can be rather amusing, so... But, uh, oh, and another thing I would like to mention about this as well, um, I think that was roughly about, well, I think I've already mentioned about this ever since in journey forms have been, um, uh, during on Friday, the 23rd of September. That's, uh, basically those, the fact that one of those episodes in, uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic called, uh, uh, A Health of Information, which, hmm, that episode does feel familiar to me. Oh, yes, that was before when, uh, well, the stupid pandemic exists, Journey forms all three years later, so because of that, well, because I will, ha I will have to say that uh, a health of information, despite how uh, dark it was, but I will say that episode is way more better than the entirety of 2020 year as a result, because it does have a lot of humor and comedy, and also a lot of attitude, and also because it's filled to the brim with charm as well as joy, for the sake of uh, a health of information episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, it doesn't come off like a boring uh, personality when it does in the forms of 2020. Because there is no snappy one uh, um, most exciting highlights of that year past the beginning portion of 2020. It doesn't go further and beyond, or it doesn't bring that much new to the table. It's just, it's just too busy being the most boring year. Like, where's the fun? Like, I totally get it because it was dangerous and stuff like that, but still, let's just, uh, let's just not get it about ourselves at this point right now, because, well, here we are on to the forms of, uh, uh, Toy Time Galaxy, as you can probably already know from the start, which appears to be the mission is called, uh, Luigi's Purple Coin, so, yeah, basically it's... Some people might find this to be one of the trickiest and the hardest mission, but as long as you would get the hang of the actual timing with your jumps, and even especially noticeable, just try to utilize the, uh, so much of your camera angles, and then it should be pretty fine. But uh, sometimes, though, it can be very tricky sometimes, especially when you have to get rid of your uh, green platforms. Or should I say the disappearing panels and uh, also turning blocks and even most dangerously out of them all though is the fact that we have to avoid that particular poison swamp because otherwise that instantly kills you. Because not like the uh, Mario meets Mario mission, whenever you meet up with the pixelated version of Mario or the 8-bit sprite of Mario planet, basically though that's uh, you got able to avoid a lot of lava which Thankfully, you do have the invulnerability where it comes to likely, well, it's hard to explain because it has been, uh, you know, like I said, three days ago since I actually last recorded this because, well, been busy lately and thus, like I said before, we're basically done with the entirety of the Donkey Kong Land trilogy now, so because of that, we are moving on to, um, another Donkey Kong games. Oh, and also we are like to able to do, um, let's just say, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, Jungle Climber kind of duology of games, like, 
DK King of Swing for the Game Boy Advance and uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Climber for the DS as well. So hopefully we'll get the actual best of both worlds there. But we don't know exactly when can we do those because, well like I said before, the next Donkey Kong game we're about to be doing for a Let's Play on is of course Donkey Kong 64 for the Nintendo 64, so... Anyway, so let's head back into Dusty Dawn Galaxy, as you can see, and the mission we are doing is Purple Coins in the Desert, so... And this obviously takes place in the exact same location as in Episode 2, uh, or should I say the second mission, from the likes of the forms of Dusty Dawn Galaxy, so because of that though, when you have to navigate for this entirety of this particular Lapwing feed kind of maze to it, but um, honestly it's not too bad. Although the only time it's a little bit tricky though, is the fact that you have to avoid a lot of those, you know with these tornado-like enemies that you can't kill? Basically though, is the fact that every once in a while, whenever you come across into a lot of more purple coins, if you stumble across the actual, uh, the switch on the up in the other side, basically though, is the fact that they now spawn in those spiky, uh, stone things that we're gonna have to avoid, which, it kind of reminds me of the forms of Boulder Geist a little bit, well, except the fact that, well, it's hard to explain because it's been, you know, three days ago since I actually, you know, gone back to this, basically, so, uh, and I think, fundamentally speaking, that, uh, spoiler alert, for those you have not predicting for this particular point throughout, that we might possibly be able to actually finish up, well, not entirely just yet, though, but we can possibly be able to actually finish up the main campaign for the sake of the forms of Mario's campaign for Super Mario Galaxy and during at some point, um, sometime in this Wednesday, because as far as I'm aware, until this coming Friday, that uh, we might possibly be able to actually get started with the second playthrough, which, either way though, sometimes it might take a while, but usually most of the time, it's all usually depending on editing software as far as this is concerned, but uh, it knows what it is, I guess, so. So looking good so far though, especially, well, again, you have to avoid that particular quicksand, because if you dare touch the quicksand, then you have to start all over again, Thus, because of the forms of how the fact that this is the first game of, after all, when it comes to the Galaxy Duology games, that you do have an option to able to try again, or go back into the observatory, which, again, unlike Galaxy 2, you can continue where you left off, so... And you, you, you can also just manage to able to skip those cinematic cutscenes, like... Well, I think I've already mentioned about that ever since in, uh, the last part so far, so, uh... But, uh, yeah. Oh, and also another thing, I think, relatively speaking, we've only got about, I think I would say, also during the forms of this coming Friday, that Marks and Recreation episode, you know, with the ones with the Cutie Mark Crusaders, uh, basically, though, that particular episode will be also become five years old, until specifically this coming Friday this year. So, uh, and then during that time, I think it's roughly about, um, actually, kind of think about it, I think it's like, um, until 11 days to go, relatively speaking, that once upon a zipper lane, uh, episode, you know, with the one when, uh, Twilight is gonna, you know, spend some time with her, uh, family and stuff like that, at least as far as I can recall, that, uh, basically, that, uh, they're having a fun time together, The yeah, that particular episode will be also become five years old during that some point, uh, you know, in, um, in the beginning portion of October, so specifically the 7th of October, as far as I'm usually concerned with that stuff. Oh, and during that time as well, is the fact that until also during in that day, um, Mario Party Superstars will be eventually become six years old, so yeah, it's actually getting pretty close when it comes to like certain Mario Party games releases for its uh, fifth anniversary treatment, because after all, that we've already had you know, 10th anniversary of Mario Party 9, despite how most people don't really care about the game that much, just because of the gameplay style is completely different. So, but I still don't mind about it too much though, in my opinion, but... You know, you get the idea. Alright, so I believe we've only got about one more mission left for the, uh, the bedroom dome will be fully completed until, well... God knows until whatever we decide to do next, so... 
Because, uh, basically, there's not much else I can say about this, basically. It's just the fact that, wow. And also, I do apologize if my uploading schedules is actually getting slightly slower. But, um, at least I'm somewhat back on track for the most part. Especially noticeable how, um, well, you know what I mean. Alright, so I get the feeling we're about to be heading back on to the engine room. And because of that, I've noticed there's actually a prankster comet we can able to hop into. That is the Gold Leaf Galaxy, so we can hop in here. And um, after we're done with this mission though, I think I should probably be able to actually make a call a day when it comes to that particular recording session, so... So, relatively speaking, I think the Gold Leaf Galaxy should be go by far the quickest, so... Which is a good choice for my part, because if it reaches to, uh, Sea Slide Galaxy, oh man, that will probably took me about 10 or so minutes for doing it. But, uh, luckily it's just Gold Leaf Galaxy, because that's all that matters to me, because, you know, this mission is pretty simple. Well, despite you have to rely on the time limit, so... And also just keep on changing the cameras if you, uh, try to make a specific, precise jumps and stuff, and I do apologize for that awkward belching moment, but uh, it knows what it is because I have to drink lots at this point, so uh, like water, juices, and you name the rest, so... But uh, yeah, for the most part, when it comes to, uh, you know, Purple Coin, Pranks to Comets missions, in the first game anyway, is actually overall, to me, pretty standard and easy. Well, I, I totally get about the fact that this is where the game starts to get a lot more difficult and challenging. And I do remember that time when, uh, I think that was back in 2019, where I believe Piglet did somehow manage to able to only tackle for quite a few Purple Coin uh, challenge missions on the original Wii version and stuff, and stuff like that. But as a result, this time around though, for this particular year, for the Switch version, I was able to actually do quite a few bits and bobs here and there, so... Well, I've no idea why I say things weirdly enough, though, but that's just how it is, I guess. Oh, and by the way, the uh, the mission of this particular Gold Leaf Galaxy's prankster comments, by the way, is actually known as uh, Purple Coins in the Woods, basically. So, in fact, this entire environment might be familiar to you because it uh, it does match to take place during the exactly the same segment as a When It Rains, It Pours uh, mission, where you have to deal with that Monty Mall with that. You know, the bubble ball, um, well, let's just say the water ball, ball, uh, contraption thing. So, either way, though, I, I will try my able to actually just try to explain about anything else, but, um, I am just felt a little bit slightly exhausted. But, hopefully I will regain my energy as soon as I'm able to do the next part. So, which pretty much leads us to the, uh, the conclusion of, uh, well, let's just say, during the forms of the first half of the forms of the Purple Coin challenges and stuff like that. Because, uh, I think relatively speaking, so far for this part, it's actually going pretty swell. Well, despite the fact that it might actually took you quite a lot of time. Especially because, you know what I mean, when it comes to, like, exploration kind of, uh, Purple Coin missions. That most of the time, it just seems to be able to make things a little bit longer, but... Thankfully, we didn't do that much of those longer type missions just yet, so... And I get the feeling that the next uh, Purple Coin uh, Comet Challenge might be appeared somewhere in the bedroom, as far as I'm aware for Freeze Flame Galaxy, I'm presuming so. So, we got the ending stuff for this point right here, I'm afraid, so join me next time. For more of Let's Play of Super Mario 3D All-Stars in the Super Mario Galaxy game, we're about to do some more missions. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Later, fellas.